action by the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet should be allowed to run its course. Behind the scene scenes, many of them are also saying that they don't believe that Senator McKenzie's conduct here is a sackable offence, but some are also conceding, not only in the Nationals but more broadly across the coalition in the Liberal Party, that this has become, become a serious distraction for the government and that the only way to cauterise this wound is for Bridget McKenzie to either step aside or be asked to step aside side sacked by her leader Michael McCormack. It is worth pointing out that when it comes to the uh, relationship between the Liberal and National parties, yes they do govern in coalition but the Prime Minister doesn't really have the authority to sack Bridget McKenzie from his minister, be ministry because she is a Nationals member. He can ask her to go and he can ask the Deputy Prime Minister and Nationals leader Michael McCormack to uh, ask her to go but he himself doesn't really have that power. By ordering this investigation by his own department. He has somewhat given himself cover that if the department comes back, if the secretary of his department, Phil Gaitchens, comes back and says that there has been a breach of the ministerial standards, that can be the grounds for making that request for Senator McKenzie to step aside, but he is somewhat hamstrung at the moment. The Deputy Prime Minister, Michael McCormack, uh, held a press conference earlier today in Coffs Harbour and he said that he still has support for Bridget McKenzie, that she should still remain in that job and he's urging uh, calm and patience while this investigation is undertaken. I'm not going to be judge and jury. I'm going to let process uh, take its course. That's the only right thing to do. Uh, in any, any situation in Australia, people are always innocent until proven otherwise. Uh, Bridget McKenzie has uh, declared uh, her memberships as she was required to do. Bridget McKenzie has uh, followed the process as she was required to do. Nationals leader Michael McCormack just wanting to pick up on what he said there about Bridget McKenzie's membership. Of course a key part of this situation is the fact that a gun club in North East Victoria that Bridget McKenzie uh, was found to be a member of received a grant under this $100 million sports grants program and it wasn't declared. Her membership was not declared on her register of Senator's interest. The fact that Mr McCormack there is saying that she has declared it suggests that maybe she had declared some sort of membership as part of her ministerial declarations, which are a private document held by the Prime Minister's office. That is not public and we have not seen those details yet. So Matthew, what is Labor demanding? Well, Labor's Shadow Sports Minister Don Farrell has written to the Secretary of the Prime Minister's Department with two demands. First of all, that the investigation be carried out quickly and that its findings be released as soon as possible. And secondly, that it also look into what role the Prime Minister's office and the Prime Minister himself had in awarding some of these grants, suggesting that it's not only Senator McKenzie who has questions to answer here. Uh, the uh, Labor Party, the Deputy Labor Leader Richard Miles was on the Nine Network this morning and he said he wouldn't be surprised if this uh, ongoing uh, situation continues and that if Bridget McKenzie continues to dig in her heels. This was a sandbagging the Liberal Party scheme. That's ultimately what it was. Um, Bridget McKenzie's going to stay there because she's being protected by the National Party. I mean, in this government, everyone's protected by someone. The person who's going to be most disappointed today with this news, of course, is Barnaby Joyce, who was licking his lips for most of the week. Richard Miles earlier today on the Nine Network. So we don't know how long this investigation by the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet will take when those findings will be released. But there are some within the government suggesting that if this case drags on any longer, particularly with Parliament returning in early February, that this could continue to cause pain for the government. Matthew Doran, thank you.